let's look at something called contingency shaped behavior versus rule governed behavior or rule following behavior. Some people like to joke around and call this real behavior versus um, artificial behavior. <laughs> No, I say hogwash behavior is behavior. Now, there may be different things that led to it, but um, it's always going to be uh, reinforced ultimately. So contingency shaped is behavior that happened through the lack of a better term, trial and error. This is the stuff that got you where you got punished and reinforced for doing particular things. And you had no sort of clear indication about what to do, right? There was no clear rule. So you didn't follow any rules. You just got out there and tried it. Um, I've had this happen a couple of times in woodwork. You know, um, I, I learned woodworking from my uncle, and he died when I was quite young. But before that, he taught me quite a few things, but he also didn't teach me a lot of stuff, uh, partially because I was just too young when um, he was teaching me these things, and I didn't have the sort of dexterity to be handling an object that's sharper than a razor or working with a you know power tool that can you know, twist me across the room when I'm 10 years old. You know, So <laughs> he didn't teach me these, some of these things. So when I got out and started doing woodworking, I didn't really have a mentor you know, anymore. And one of the things that I noticed was that I make a lot of mistakes, a lot more than what the average Joe does when they go through a woodworking class. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, ah, it's because it's contingency shaped. It's because I'm having to learn to do this thing from scratch. I don't have any rules to follow. I don't have any guidelines. I didn't buy any books. You know, I'm stubborn. So I could have went out there and bought books and done and learned a few things that way. Or if I would have been thinking, I'd have gone on YouTube and typed in some of those things, and typed in some of the things that I was doing and picked up on some rules to kind of help bridge some of the gaps. I didn't do that. Okay. So contingency shaped is about um, coming into contact with a particular contingency. So you want to learn how to use a router, a little thing, spends about 15,000 RPM, got a nice sharp bit on the end of it. Um, well, <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm laughing because even just the other day I was I had a contingency happen with the router. Um, like I said, things spinning, it's a little blade, it's a little bit, right? It's spinning on this thing, like 15,000 RPM, that was the speed that I was running for this particular project. And I went the wrong direction. Now, I'm not stupid. I've done this a thousand times. But I went the wrong direction. And when you go the wrong direction, if you don't go against that rotation, right, um, then in, in other words, if you go with the rotation, then it tends to grab the wood <laughs> and pull it and throw it across the shop. Well, um, the danger there is that when it throws it across the shop, you're still trying to hold on to it. So it pulls your fingers into that, that, that bit, right? Um, luckily, it didn't pull my fingers into it but it yanked the wood out of my hands and threw it across the shop and broke the piece of wood, which was frustrating. So then I had to spend the next two hours rebuilding that piece in order to get it back through the router again. So that's an example of contingency shape. So with that particular piece, I'm definitely not gonna do what's called climb milling, right? So um, certain times you do want to go with, with that, with the rotation, but you have to be set up for that and you gotta be ready for it. And you gotta know that it's gonna try and pull it out of your hands and all those things. Right? So guess what I just did? I set up a rule for you. Based on my experience, I gave you a rule, right? So now you can go into the shop and you can try to router, you can try to run the router and you'll probably do fine. You'll be like, ah, go against the rotation because Ryan had a piece of wood fly across the room and darn near ripped his fingers off, okay? So those are the types of things that, um, that's an example of that contingency shape versus the rule governed. I have now given you the rule based on my experience. My experience was directly shaped Right? Um, and yours was rule following. So when you get out there into the environment and you follow my rules, it will then be, start to become contingency shaped. At that point, that, that, that first instance though, is just rule following behavior. So rule governed or rule following develops by direct contact with the contingency for following rules. And eventually leads to the rule con real contingencies like I was just talking about. So eventually, um, you, you know, if you follow my rules, you will come in contact with the router and then you will get reinforced for proper use of the router automatically simply because of the fact that you're using it and now the contingencies are kicking in place. Okay. This bridges certain gaps okay, um, and, and that delayed reinforcement stuff because um, you know, the, the potential for a lot of punishers are there, the potential for the reinforcement is there, but um, if without those rules, you, you might not come into contact with that reinforcer right off the bat because you might make a bunch of mistakes. And the fear is that if you're going to make a bunch of mistakes, then maybe the behavior isn't going to last very long. And I know I've kind of put this in the context of uh, woodworking, but you could also think about this in the context of, say, learning a language. 
uh, I before he except after C and sometimes certain situations and other ones and blah 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 because English just sucks but uh, you get the idea that there's that rule I before he except after C for the most part <laughs> but when you get out there and start running into the contingencies um, it, it, it'll then start to shape up the real response.